friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. You are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Alana, and for this video, I know I recently did a book haul, but I also accumulated a lot of manga. And so instead of making my book haul really long, I decided that I wanted to do a little manga haul for you all, because why not? And it's a big part of my life, so I would love to just like, maybe share more about some of the ones I love with you all and yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right in so I bought all of these from Right Stuff Anime I think it's a pretty good uh, site to get some cheap stuff usually their manga runs around like ten dollars in less less than that ten or ten dollars or less which is pretty nice and they always have sales and stuff going on. Sometimes they'll have sales of bundles of manga. And then they also sell anime on there and just a couple, like a bunch of other stuff you can definitely look into if you're interested. So I definitely, it's one of my favorite sites to shop on. All the stuff that I got in this haul, I got for only 99 cents a piece. I think there are maybe one or two things that I got for like, seven dollars or something maybe a little less so uh i'm just gonna go ahead and start and dive right in i just wanted to share where i got them and all that kind of stuff so the first thing i got was this cute little fruits basket sticker collection which i am so excited to have <laughs> in case you don't know like i'm super obsessed with fruits basket it's one of my favorite animes and it's one of the og mangas i ever read so that's why i just feel so nostalgic and so that's why when they did the review i was so excited just to show you a few things so you get like these little character like things they're all like kind of laminated and like they have the little bio and then at the back they have like these little cute little stickers so i got the other, i got that because i was like oh this would be cute in case i wanted to do like a fruits basket themed something in my bullet journal the other thing i got was this book on how to draw shoujo manga so i've been really getting into uh drawing again and it's just like on my ipad but i figured it would be cool to get get this and, and maybe see if it's something i'm good at or something i could practice that so yeah all right now time for the juicy stuff the manga so the first couple of mangas i got were all volume ones so i got the first volume of platinum garden i think i read this once at some point a couple years ago but i don't really remember <laughs> I don't think it was finished at the time that I read it. So I think I had, I had to stop and then I just forgot about it. So I'm intrigued to reread this and see what I think and honestly to remember what it's about. The next book I grabbed was Volume 1 of VB Rose by Banri Hitaka. So uh, this I believe is about a girl who ends up having to work at a, a bridal shop. And she helps out this these two guys who like own it. Um, with weddings and stuff and I started reading it a couple years ago again and I stopped and I lost track of where it was so I'm like I have to start over because I don't remember anything. I also loved it because this author has another series that I read and this world connects with that one. I just can't remember the name of the series but it was cool because there was like a moment where you got to see that character in here. So yeah super excited to reread this and see if I still like it the way I did the first time. The next one I grabbed was uh, Volume 1 of President Dad. I don't really know what this is about. It just looked cool. The cover just looked cool. And I was like, it was 99 cents. So I was like, why not? All right, now this series I do know about. So the next uh, <laughs> bundle I grabbed uh, was a, a good number of volumes of one series. Uh, mostly because, so the other th hard thing about uh, older manga is that Sometimes you can't find all of the volumes. So sometimes what I do is I'll buy uh, 
however many volumes I can find and then that way I at least have a good number and then, then I can slowly work through and find the ones that I'm missing. So, <laughs> I bought all of these of Gaku and Alice. I think it's volumes 3, 5 through 10, and then 12, 15, and 13. So this is one of my favorite series besides Fruit Basket. It's super good. It's an anime, so you can watch the first 25 episodes, but I recommend also reading the manga because it just goes so much deeper than the anime and it touches a lot on the idea of adults underestimating children and like the psychological ramifications of what happens when you separate children from their families and just stuff like that. And so I, just I love the series I couldn't resist because they were literally all 99 cents now I just gotta work through and find the missing volumes because I know there's a couple the next volume I grabbed was volume 3 of monkey high so I have volumes 1 and 2 and I saw I think number 3 was 99 cents in case you don't know it's about a girl who because her father gets wrapped up in a up in a political scandal she transfers to this new school <laughs> and so she's used to like the prestigious schools and like the like rich kid schools so she gets transferred to this like local public school and so she decides that everybody in her class are like monkeys that's what they resemble to her with their like energy and just the way they are and then she ends up falling for the head monkey and it's hilarious so it's super cute the next one i grabbed was the stellar six uh volume one i had never heard of this before the night i bought it but it sounded really interesting it's like about a group of kids who grew up in the same village or town and they're each like the child of a certain type of store and so uh they like i guess grew apart and then for one of the festivals they realized that their village needed them or something and so they come back together and like i reform their friendship or something so i did the same thing that i did with gaku and alice where i bought this series in bulk because they had a lot of volumes and i was like why not they were only 99 cents and this series it also has an anime i think it also goes to 25 episodes and it's the same thing I said with Gaku and Alice where like you can watch the 25 episodes but I definitely recommend reading the manga too because it it does go deeper into the story and touches upon the idea of trauma and the ways that it affects you as you get older especially if you experienced it as a kid and how it affects the relationships you have and how in certain instances when a child goes through like traumatic experience experiences especially if it involves like parental abuse and abandonment they they are very insecure about their relationships as adults because uh they don't know how to cope they're afraid that these other people that supposedly love them will abandon them like their parents did and so it touches a lot on that but it's uh carrie Kano. I got volumes 1, 7 through 9, 11 through 13, and then 15, 18, and 21. Again, I gotta go back and find the in-between series, in-between volumes that I don't have. Alright, so I have like five more and then I'm good. So the next two ones I grabbed were the first two volumes of Kimi ni Chidoke. So I adore this anime, I need to finish it. <laughs> and then I definitely adore the manga and I definitely need to finish that too because it's so adorable in case you don't know it's about this girl whose name is Sawako Sawako but everybody calls her Shadako after uh the girl from I think the grudge or the ring or one of those movies I can't remember but they call her the name of the girl from the horror movie it's because she has this like kind of scary aura I mean not really but like the way she has her hair and the way she has a very like timid demeanor people just assume that she's just this scary person and so she is just kind of used to being alone she's used to not having friends and it's so sad honestly because you learn that she's like the sweetest person ever and she does the kindest things for people despite the fact that they're so mean to her and so she meets this boy who's like the popular boy in her class and everybody loves him and so she tells him that she wants to be just like him 
And so he kind of helps her grow more comfortable in herself, but also like break out of this timid shell that she has. And so she starts to make friends and she starts to really open up and people start to really see who she truly is and that she's not the scary girl that they assume she is. And it's just super adorable and I love it. I think the, the fa my favorite part is like the friendships in this story. So she uh, becomes friends with these two girls in her class, like really good friends. And it's super cute because uh, in one of the one of the chapters, there's like this huge mis misunderstanding and so she's like not sure what to do because she's never had friends before So she's never had a fight with a friend before so she doesn't really know what this what to do in this aspect And so and they don't know that so they don't know like what to do either <laughs> and So they're like at the standstill and then all of a sudden like they get picked on in a bet in the bathroom And she like just comes in and she starts standing up for them and like honestly It's kind of a funny scene because literally you don't understand like the bully doesn't even understand what's going on because they're just confessing their love for each other but at the same time you're crying because you're like they're such good friends and it's like a whole thing i know i'm rambling but it's so good and then the last series i picked up was volumes one two and four of pearl pink uh they didn't have volume three so this one is an older one that i love too it's about this girl i can't remember her name and she grew up in a village with her grandmother and then when the series starts, her grandmother decides that it's time for her to move in with her mother because of the fact that uh, she's getting older and she just doesn't have the energy to, energy to really raise a kid anymore. And so she's sent to the city to live with her mother and she learns that her mother's an actress <laughs> and that's why she's been gone all these years. So she kind of has to reacclimate to living with a mother because she like was motherless for a really long time and so she kind of has to get over that kind of also abandonment feeling that she's had but also she decides that she wants to be an actress as well I guess to maybe I don't know fit into her mom's world or something like that and she actually gets the help of this guy who I think he's the son of the entertainment agency that her mom is signed with or something like that and so he kind of gets roped into all of her shenanigans and it's just really funny and super cute and I like loved it when I read it so I definitely recommend it if you were looking for a cute little shoujo but yeah those are all the manga that I recently got my hands on if you've heard any of any of these series please let me know I would love to gush about them with you down below if you like the video please like it down below if you want me to do more videos uh, about manga or just talking about manga please let me know maybe I'll do a recommendation to some of my favorite series ever if not then I also won't do that it's okay <laughs> and yeah if you're not good at commenting I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds <laughs>